to so many in the Southwest, tamales are a holiday tradition. And if you've never made them at home, we have got a treat for you this morning. This is Daniela Lerma with Fry's Food Stores, and we're learning how to make homemade tamales. Hi, happy holidays happy to you. Happy holidays and good morning. Good morning to you. And here's the best part, folks. Fry's has everything you need to make homemade tamales. Is that right? Oh, yes, that's right. Um, for about $100, you can make 100 tamales this oh, year. Oh, my goodness. Very affordable. So what ingredients do we need for tamales? So the base to any good tamale is masa. Okay. Um, so you need maseca, lard. Um, of course, your corn husk, whatever variety of peppers your family recipe calls for. Um, and then we also do at our Fries Mercado, we have our in-store made masa and next them all. All right, so everything right here in these bags came from Fries, and you're going to show us how to put this together. So we buy the, the fresh ingredients, we bring them home, and then what do we need to do next, Daniela? All right, so from there, of course, everyone's recipe is different, but okay. you want to make your masa. Um, for me, I love to make my red sauce first. Um, and then add that to my masa to give it a little bit more flavor. Oh, I like that. Yes, Good secret. Yes, Thank you. And go. how do you do that? Um, so today we're going to make a green sauce. So okay. we're going to make something a little bit different. Um, you can use this in your filling or you can use this as a topping just to enhance your tamales. Um, so today we have some tomatillos, whatever pepper your family recipe calls for. Today we chose the Anaheim pepper, um, some jalapenos, garlic, cloves, onions, and then some seasoning. All right, so you like a little kick. You I do like a little bit of kick, You yes. like a little spice. And then what yes. do we do once and how, how long do we keep it in the skillet? I like to roast this for about 10 to 15 okay. minutes until the peppers are tender. You'll see those tomatillos start to pop. Okay. Um, you'll smell them. You'll hear that popping. And then I like to throw that in a blender with a little bit of chicken bouillon, chicken Ooh. stock, a little bit more spice if you're like me and enjoy that kick. And this, um, this is the finished product? Yeah, this okay. is the finish. I like it a little bit thicker. You can definitely add some more chicken broth and get that consistency to be a little bit more saucy. But okay. for me, that's perfect. Uh, you're, you're a little saucy. I can see that. <laughs> so do we put this inside the tamale? Or on top? You can. So for me, I like to use this when I use chicken as my filling okay. because chicken, green, cheese, oh, that's Ooh. the perfect combination. Yes, um, but I also like to take this to parties with me because everyone has their own tamale recipe, but I mm -hmm. like to just enhance that flavor a little bit. I like that. Um, so what did you put in this tamale? So these are beef tamales, just okay. chuck roast, all of my favorite variety of peppers in there. Um, my masa I did buy from our Fries Mercado on 40, 43rd and McDowell um, because why not, right? Let right. them do the labor of love. All right, so then you put it on. So you have a little bit inside. You could put a little, and you said the yeah. red sauce you put on the inside as the well, The red right? sauce I do, but you can definitely um, use the red sauce. Okay. Oh, that's uh, awesome. So what other holiday favorites can you find at Fry's this time of year? So this time of the year, definitely getting into that cold time. Um, pozole, we have our hominy, our chuck mm. roaster on sale. Um, we have a ponche kit this year, which is new to Fry's. You can find that in our produce department. And then, of course, our new Mercado brand items, which include our peppers, rice, beans, um, abuelitas chocolate, biloncillo, all of that great stuff. Wow, One stop desk. Destination and these year. are authentic ingredients, yes, so you don't have authentic. to go to these private markets and run all you over town. You don't have to shop around. You yeah. can find all of these items through pickup or in-store, however you prefer to shop. And Daniela was sharing with me, they also have recipes, so you'll have displays set up. Yes, we will have these big one-stop destination displays, um, but if you need a little bit of inspiration, you could always visit FriesFood.com or go to the Fries Food app and click on the holiday banner. There you go. Grab your holiday recipes right now and head on over to fries. If you want more information and to find a fries near you, visit the website friesfood.com.